Okay, so in this video we're going to create an interactive GeoGebra worksheet and then we're going to save it to GeoGebra.org and then embed it into a Google site. So in this worksheet we're going to do Riemann sums. So f of x equals 1 plus uh, x squared. We'll make that our function and then we'll use the slider tool to make it dynamic. So we want to choose integer because when we're counting rectangles we start counting from 1 and we'll let it go up to 100 and we count by increments of one rectangle. So we're going to link our uh, slider tool to the Riemann sum or rectangle approximation method. Start typing the word rectangle and you'll see the function show up. You hit enter and First it wants function, so the name of my function in GeoGebra is f of x, so I'm going to type f in here. I hit the tab key to move to my starting x value. I'm going to let my x value start at 0. I'll hit the tab key to go to where my shaded region will end. I'll let it end at 2. And then the number of rectangles, because my slider is named n, I'm going to put n in here so my slider tool controls that. And for the position of the rectangle, if we're doing LRAM, you type in 0. If we're doing MRAM, you type in 0 0.5. And if we're using RRAM, you type in 1. We're going to use RRAM. And once this is all filled out, you hit Enter. And we have our slider tool linked to it. And we see that we can dynamically change the number of rectangles. And it's recalculating it here. So I want to set this up for uh, the way I want it to look on the website. I will X out the algebra pane. If I needed to get it back, you go to the view menu up above and choose algebra. But for the website that I'm going to embed this in, I don't want that visible. I can uh, move my slider tool to where I would like it to be positioned. And I'm going to resize my window because all of this gets taken into account when we export it. So this is what I want the viewer to see in the website. I'm going to save this file, save as, I'll call it RRAM example. I'm saving it to my desktop. And I don't need this anymore. Now I'm going to go to geogebra.org. So go to geogebra.org, click sign in, choose your Google account, and it will log you in automatically with your Google credentials. I'm going to go to Upload. I'm going to choose the file from my desktop. I named it RRAM Example. Hit Open. It's uploaded it to the GeoGebra website. I'll give it the, a title. So we'll call this RRAM Example. As we scroll down, you can hit Save and Close. The visibility is sit, set to Share with the link. So we hit save and close, and this will now be in my collection of GeoGebra worksheets. So we see RRAM example is here. So to get the embed code, we want to click on this example to open it back up. Go up to these three dots here and choose details, and then go to share, go to embed, have this set for HTML. You hit this button here and it copies the HTML embed code to your clipboard. Now I will go to Google Sites, type sites.google.com, log in with your Google credentials, go to New Google Sites, and I'm going to hit the plus button to create a new site. And to embed it, I'll come to the side here and choose from the insert menu, embed, embed code, Paste by hitting Command V or Control V, hit Next, and Insert. Now that it's in my Google site, I can resize it until it shows the entire uh, GeoGebra applet. That's what I wanted it to show. And voila, it's embedded. You can design the rest of your site. If you want to preview it, come up to the Preview button. And this is what it'll look like after it's published. We see that it's an interactive applet built into our website. It allows the user to have dynamic interactivity with it. I'm going to close the preview. 
Notice that you can preview what it looks like on a cell phone, a tablet, or a desktop. I'm going to close this, and uh, that's it. We're done. You can always add uh, text. And if I want to format the text, I can put emphasis. I can choose the type of text, the title, the heading, and then we can swap things around. That's it. And then let your creativity take your websites to further. Um, you can add captions. You can add uh, more images. Uh, it's a great tool. It's free. GeoGebra, Google Sites is a great way to communicate with technology.